What's good with y'all, man? We back in it, fresh on the wake up. I'm actually fresh, not even off vacation. I went back home. For those of y'all that don't know, I'm from Minnesota. So you can't call Minnesota a vacation if you come in from California. That don't even sound right. But that explains why uh, the whole room is a mess. Got to put that stuff away today. Just got a really busy week because pretty much took like four days off, bro. I didn't do anything. Didn't do nothing. I didn't bring any of my stuff with me. Didn't bring my tape measure or anything. So anything for the brand was, was quiet. So usually, as y'all know, I'm really big on not, I'm really big on not really taking breaks for me personally, because I'm a one man show right now, one man band. So it's like the more breaks I take, the longer it's just going to take for me to get to where I'm going. But finally sitting in silence and not even sitting in silence, but finally being present, bro. Like I really felt like I was present there because I wasn't doing anything. So um, yeah, I was super present and I feel like a lot of answers um, that I've been seeking out just hit me. Like, you know, I've been having certain thoughts on things and questions about things and shit was just able to hit me because I was finally not moving. I feel like I gotta sneeze. I feel like when you say you gotta sneeze, then you never sneeze. Anyways, I don't like going back home though for a multitude of reasons. One, um, it just reminds me of who I used to be. That sounds corny. It's, that sounds corny, but it reminds me of who, who I used to be and that's just not who I am today. And anybody, if anybody can say that, it's definitely me because my life looks completely different than what it was when I was there. So that's, I just don't like that aspect. Two, typically if you're not going in the summer, the weather's ass. So that's also another reason why I moved. But it was good seeing family. Like I said, it really was good being present. You know what I'm saying? And um, obviously linking up with family and linking up with close homies and all that type of shit. So I was actually having, um, you know, a few drinks or whatever with a homie. And we just chopping it up for hours, like three, four hours at this dope little restaurant, a little speakeasy back room joint. But, you know, the topic came up with just like how, you know, are you expressing like your emotions and all that type of stuff? Like we're deep in the conversation. We're like we're two hours deep in this conversation. So we, we in the trenches with the combo for real. And I was like, to be honest, no, I feel like I've always been emotionally unavailable in a sense, but I've always tried to just transmute any negative shit or negative thoughts, energy, whatever, towards something positive. You know what I'm saying? And when I st when I have to stop and sit down, you know what I'm saying? That's when I really, I feel like that's when everything hits you. But it's like, if you don't stop, you know, you kind of just got that superpower because you're not really feeling a whole lot of stuff. Plus, you can use all that energy towards your goal. And that's what I've been doing. Like, bro, my whole life in California has been the result of hard work. Of course, you know, that's an aspect. But where, where does that stem from? You know what I'm saying? Why are you working hard? A lot of that shit comes from negative shit that's happened in the past or you know, feeling like you've been slighted and uh, you got to prove something, not even prove other people wrong, but just prove yourself right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like, and I'm not saying that's the answer for everybody. I'm not saying to not express your emotions. If that comes easy for you, then bro, do it for sure. I just know for me right now, like, obviously, like I'm not sitting in a therapist chair and I'm not doing all that stuff right now. It's just not the right time. But if you can, like, or if you don't have that resource available to you, you can't afford it, whatever, like, Bro, I'm telling you, like, the more you sit still, the more you kind of just uh, seep, you let that sorrowness seep into you or whatever emotions seep in, bro, that's when you really feel like shit. Like, that's why it's a struggle for me to just sit down and do nothing all the time because it's like, you know, it's everything kind of hits you then or you kind of start feeling like, damn, like, why do I feel like this? It's because of those emotions that you've been suppressing. But if you can use those emotions to fuel what you're doing, you're unstoppable. I'm able to work longer hours. I'm able to do a lot of things that most people can't do because it's not coming from a place of like, oh, I just love what I'm doing. That is a factor, but some of it's coming from a a, a negative side or a darker side. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't get it, you don't get it. But if you do get it, then trust, like continue to just put work in and channel those emotions towards something positive or towards something constructive. You're going to see how shit just starts shaping out for you, you know? And then... <laughs> When the time is right, it's time to make those emotions whole, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do. You got to maybe go to therapy. You got to, you know, start leaning on people more. You got to start opening up more. 
for sure. But I can't sit here and tell people to do that if I don't really do that myself. Because to me, it's I'm just living an action-based lifestyle right now, bro. Like it's it's about action. It's about my goals and what I'm hitting, and I'm keeping God first. And I talk to God about certain stuff, but outside of that, you know, I'm not saying that this is healthy. I'm just saying this is what I'm doing. You know, I'm saying if you don't have the resources to talk to people or talk to a therapist or whatever it's like yes you should definitely seek out solid homie solid friends that you can um you know confide in but until then it's like bro you gotta put that shit you gotta put that work in bro into something you gotta you gotta transmute um that energy you know what i'm saying so it's not just sitting like because that's the worst bro that's where you see a lot of people break that's where you see a lot of people break so we starting off the, the vlog or whatever super heavy but that was just something that stood out to me when i went back you know and it's like I didn't, I wasn't really, um, cognizant. I wasn't really, it, 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 I wasn't even aware of it, bro. Like until me and him sat down and talked about it, but I'm like, that's what I've been doing, but shit has been working. I'm not saying it's easy, but you know, I'd rather do that than not have, I'd rather do what I'm doing than, um, still be in the same spot, still living with my parents or whatever. And it's like, oh shit like these negative emotions this happened this happened like i'm just out for the count like whatever like nah you gotta you gotta <laughs> tighten the bootstraps and keep going bro like even being an only child and all that like they have no siblings to rely on lean on anything that happened it's just me you know what i'm saying so it is what it is but yeah we started this vlog off super heavy that wasn't even the whole the whole point but yeah we got a busy ass day bro because i've been gone for four days and i really ain't done nothing it's like we're just kind of stacked up but you know it's time to go get this shit and i just have a renewed sense of focus bro a renewed sense of a mission like i said a lot of the questions i had in the back of my mind were kind of answered during that time you know i don't know if that's just me reflecting on certain things i don't know if that's you know god like you know i'm i'm sitting in silence and being present and that's allowing god to kind of come through and work i don't know which one of which one of it it is, I don't know if it's both or whatever, but at the same time, I just know like, hey, like I, I don't think I've ever felt this sharp and, you know, this ready to kind of, to get back, to get in the game and really just start, you know, going crazy on everything. So yeah, it was it was interesting, bro. I did not want to go back, but now that I went back, I'm, I'm glad I did and, you know, it's time to get to it. So let's get the day started. Yo. So off the rip, something new I'm implementing is this whiteboard, bro. I can't show y'all what I'm writing on the whiteboard because these is top classified secrets. I ain't gonna lie, I do so much content. Y'all probably gonna see it anyways in the background of some shit, but uh, yeah, I'm just implementing the whiteboard, bro. I'm really, I really was anti, not anti, but it just never really spoke to me like being super, super organized on certain stuff, but everything just getting so big pause everything's just getting so everything is getting so there's so much going on that i need to keep organized bro and i think the best way to do it is just writing down what i'm trying to do for each day and if it's not a day-to-day -day thing then just a weekly checklist content weekly checklist of responsibilities weekly checklist of yeah just business i need to handle and this to hit all that because Anything that's important to me, I'm going to do. But if it's not super important to me or it doesn't come super natural or I just got a lot of shit going on and it's just not at the top of my mind, like I might forget. Like I'm not going to forget to ship out orders, but I might forget to, you know, I was going to I was going to do this video on TikTok. But I look up and it's like, damn, I didn't even do that. I was trying to do that shit like two weeks ago. Well, what happened? Not that I don't care about TikTok, but, you know, I was busy doing other shit. Yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. Either way, whiteboard, we're going to see how it works, but. All right, man, just grab that drink. You know, we ain't ate nothing, so we got to get the drink to hold us over. About to go pay a bill and then go pack orders. Just made a huge rookie mistake, bro. Didn't bring no bags to haul all these packs out. So I think I'm gonna just have to put it in a box, but yeah, or I'm just gonna have to carry them all, like just bear hug them. Rookie mistake. See, I go out of town, bro. I'm just not on my game.
didn't y'all know I was an addict, man? Haven't we been over this? I'm on enough stimulants to, what am I? I'm on enough caffeine to stimulate a small East African village for the whole month. That's how much caffeine I have per day. About halfway done with the day, kind of. Um, orders are out. Um, you know, I got the week pretty much planned out. I did that before I left the crib. I wasn't able to take care of the bill I needed to pay because they said they only take checks. And I'm like, bro, it's 2024. Like, you don't take cards. You don't take Apple Pay. You don't take nothing. Just checks. So I got to go to the bank tomorrow. I'm like, damn. But so that's two, three, four things done. Boom. And then, um, yeah, I just dropped off the orders. So now I need to still work out. I haven't worked out in like six days. So, yeah, I need to go sweat and get some shit going. And then, um. I got a lot of content to chop up and then I got some designing and shit to do. Kind of back to the more usual shit y'all used to seeing me do with the um, with the designing and you know, on the iPad and all that type of stuff. So I just gotta decide what I wanna do and where I wanna post up at. Plus I need to go get dinner. My girl out of town for the next week. So guess who's not cooking? This guy, not cooking. I'm not going to the grocery store. No, I don't care. I don't wanna do it. I'm not wasting time doing it. I'm just eat out so yeah boy what up y'all fresh out that shower man feeling good had to shave and shit but it's like 1 30 right now I'm um, about to just edit some content and then hit the bed. As y'all can see, man, we had a maxed out day today, but um, like I explained before, you take four days, five days off, shit, it's just more work to do. But yeah, it's just gonna be a productive week, man. Just really trying to stay on task, knock shit out. Like I always say, create, over consume. That's really the goal for this week. Cause if it's not, we're not gonna get everything done and that's not acceptable, so. Yeah, I'll probably catch y'all tomorrow or the day after that. Um, like I said, got a lot of shit to do, so might not be able to vlog every day. But yeah, man, I love y'all. appreciate y'all. And we going, bro. We going. It's not always easy. It's not always pretty. It's not any of those things a lot of the times. But, you know, can you stay the course and continue to put one step in front of the other? That's really the question. So um, shout out to God, man. Feeling blessed. I feel like he really got in my steps right now. And it's up to me to put in that work. God's playing my work. You already know.